Guatemalans are tough not to crack. Uh, by all means, in the case of Guatemala, support the Commission Against Impunity, whose mandate runs until 2013. It has many problems and shortcomings and so on and so forth. But at, you know, the bottom line is that the CC is a vetted unit in a country where penetration of law enforcement institutions by crime syndicate is rampant. And to be entirely honest, I, my impression is that Guatemalans institu uh, Guatemala's institutions won't be able to cope. They won't be able to prevent the country from becoming a narco state. What this means in practice is that Guatemala, in my view, needs not merely the assistance, but in some ways even the tutelage uh, of the international community. It really needs, in an ideal world, to uh, to have the mandate of some kind of UN sanctioned body uh, expanded to cover police and judicial functions. That is the only way to rebuild law enforcement wholesale. And this is, I'm afraid, about ceding essential attributes of sovereignty. So the real choice that the next president will face, in my view, is either you relinquish vital prerogatives of the state to the international community in order to save Guatemala, or you relinquish more territory to criminal gangs and doom the country to implosion. This is not pretty, but quite frankly, it is no use pretending that the current institutions are up to the task. It is time that we start calling things for what they are and stop pretending that Guatemala is on the road to any kind of recovery.